Welcome to You're Going to Hell with Bill Johnson. With me, Bill Johnson. And you're going to hell unless you follow your vocation. So today in studio, that's our topic, vocations. My guests who will be joining me are all talking about the various vocations which are recognized by the Catholic Church. To discuss vocations to the priesthood, we've got our bishop, His Grace Recumbent Weekman, whose narcolepsy is in remission, we hope. And discussing vocations to the religious life, we've got two sisters, two nuns, one from the traditionalist order of St. Someone the Super Catholic, Sister Mary Minnie Mookie, and the other from the not-so-traditionalist order, Our Lady of the Pantsuit, Sister Mary Margaret Sanger. And also discussing the vocation of marriage, holy matrimony. It's the host of Teenage Catholic Groovy, Bob. And joining him as well is one of his lifeless teen team members, Biff Beamer. And of course, we, we are all called to the universal vocation of chastity, purity. And discussing chastity is going to be Juan Corpus Delecti, host of Theology of My Body, here on Grunky. And finally, discussing a vocation to nothing in particular, my identical twin half-brother Stanford Nutting, ex-seminarian and host of Sharing with Stanford's, which airs Thursdays at 5.30 in the morning here on Grunky, and there's, there's a good reason for that. <clears throat> anyway, I'd like to welcome all my guests. <laughs> now, now, let's get this thing over with. Let's begin by talking with Sister Mary Minnie Mookie from the traditionalist order of St. Someone the Super Catholic. Now, Sister, why would any of our female viewers out there want to join your order and paint a rosy picture? You're on Grunky. There's literally dozens of viewers. Go ahead. <laughs> well, there was the one day that our novice was doing dishes. And oh, it was so humorous. She spilled some soap bubbles on the floor. And she said, Bombs away! Oh, 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 how we laughed. And then, and then there was the time at recollection when Sister Mary Crawdad was reading from scripture oh, and she misread it accidentally. And she said, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the girth. The heavens and the girth. Oh, 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 oh how we laughed. You see, Sister has a problem with her weight. And then there was the time that I said to Mother, Move it along, Sister. The bishop is getting his narcolepsy back. I'm terribly sorry. Well, don't be. Because there's no way you're going to hell. Because your life is far too boring. And that's a good thing. Not so for Sister Mary Margaret Sanger of Our Lady of the Pantsuit. Damned! if I do say so myself. Well, sister, tell me the sort of things you do at your order. We spend time getting in touch with our inner femininity. Well, you've done one hell of a good job from the sound of it. So, uh, tell me, where's your order located? The island of Lesbos. <clears throat> and, uh, the inhabitants of the island of Lesbos are called... Don't go there, Bill. Judgmental. And now, I'd like to sing my communion hymn. I am woman, hear me roar, and numbers too big to ignore. Well, I'm certain that every young girl watching can't wait to become a nun in one of your two orders. Grunky, the only network that brings hell to you. Speaking of hell, can I talk about marriage? Oh, sure! Bob from Teenage Catholic Groovy, everybody! You know, Bill, I've been married to my wife, Cindy, for many years now. We do everything together. In fact, she's with me on the show today. She is? Where? She's at home, cooking, cleaning, doing all those wifey things. And I'm gonna Skype her! Ha <laughs> ha! That's how she'll be on the show! How about that? That's cool! That's groovy! That's chill! That's depressing. <laughs> Skyping. Skyping Cindy. <laughs> Skyping. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. We're on TV. Dad, I'm frigid. Uh, honey, I really don't think now is that... The thermostat is set at 60. Well, the thermostat is set at 60. I I'm a youth minister. I don't make the money. Bob, with only one car in the family and me home alone all day taking care of the kids ever since we took off home product. Uh, honey, I honey, honey, we're married. We're married. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. To 
but this is my vocation. So you can go back to being a fry chef at KFC. Here you go. Now then, let's talk to our next guest, Juan Corpus Delecti. He'll talk about the universal vocation to chastity. Juan? Bill, we are all so deeply, deeply wounded in our sexuality. We all need sexual healing. As the prophet Marvin said, sexual healing is good for me. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Sexual healing. Do you know what I mean, baby? Sexual healing, baby. What the hell are you talking about? Do you know in my latest book, which is called Pornography Examined with Illustrations? That book has been endorsed with an imprimatur by over 300 of the U.S. bishops, none of whom have read it. That's how good it is. And speaking of books, did you know that the Song of Songs is the centerfold of the Bible? Centerfold, baby. I can take out those staples Meet my teeth. <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? You see, the bride opens her garden to the bridegroom. I'm the gardener. I'm gonna do some hoeing. I want a hoe. A ho ho ho. Right, baby? Right, baby? Yes! Get out of here! Go! Go! Who booked that idiot? Go! Get out of here! Bill? Bill, calm down. Why the hell should I calm down when nobody watching this program is going to be the least bit interested in a vocation to the priesthood, the religious life, to marriage, to chastity? But they might be interested in a vocation to whatever. Whatever? The Church of the Whatever. I belong to it, and we've recently formed a new order. Disorder! Uh, what's the name of this order of yours? Disorder. Yes, this order. No, disorder. Yes, this order. No, disorder. And who's on first? Good answer. That was a question! God is a question. That's what we believe. God is a question. A great big fuzzy question. Kind of like, hey, what? Or even, huh? He's certainly not a period or a semicolon, and he's not a patriarchal exclamation point. No, no, no. He's a great big crooked mark of interrogation. Right side up for us English speakers, upside down for our Spanish-speaking friends. And when he talks, you've got to listen. He's calling you. He's calling you to a vocation. A vocation to whatever. Huh? Exactly. You're more spiritual than you look. You see, it's the question that's important, not the answer. It's the journey that's important, not the destination. It's the vocation that's important, not what it's calling you to. Well, you're leading us all to hell. Hell. The abyss. Nothing. 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 Oh, cheer the hell up! When I was your age, I had to go to 16 masses a day, barefoot, over gravel, and I wasn't depressed! Friar Cam! <laughs> Bishop!
Bishop Cam. Franken Bishop Cam. Bishop Franken. 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 This is awful! What? Is he hurt? Oh, he's all right. But the Friar Cam survived. Yeah, that is bad. But will the church? Anyway, we're out of time. Thank goodness. My guests have been Sister Mary Minnie Mookie from St. Someone the Super Catholic, Sister Mary Margaret Sanger from Our Lady of the Pants Suit. Also, we've had Bishop Recumbent Weakman, who's had narcolepsy ever since Vatican II. Juan Corpus Delecti, who's left the building, and of course, ex-seminarian, Stanford Nutting, host of Sharing with Stanford from the Church of the Whatever and Disorder. And finally, Bob, host of Teenage Catholic Groovy. Bob! Uh, what's that noise? It's Cindy. She's Skyping me.